To balance this equation, SO2 plus O2 yields SO3. Let's count up the atoms on each side. On the reactant side, we have one sulfur atom and we have two oxygen atoms, but we also have these two oxygen atoms here. So we need to count those as well. So two plus the two, that'll give us four total oxygen atoms. Over on the product side, one sulfur and three oxygen atoms. When I see an odd number of oxygens like this, I like to get that to an even number. That helps me in balancing. So if I, if I took and put a two in front of the SO3, I'd have three times two, and that'd give me six oxygen. So that's an even number, that's helpful, it's a good start. For the sulfur, I have one sulfur here, so the one times the two, that equals two. Let's fix our sulfurs and then see what happens to the oxygen. So I have two here and one here, coefficient of two. So for the sulfur, one times the two, that'll give me two sulfurs. Those are balanced. And then we need to update the oxygen atoms here. So I have my two here times two. So two times the two, that's four oxygen atoms. Plus, don't forget we had these two here. That gives us six. And this equation is balanced. When you're doing this, be careful. Make sure you count all of the oxygens on each side of the equation. And then if you end up with an odd number for oxygen, sometimes it's helpful to multiply that by two, get it to an even number, and then that helps things work out. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for sulfur dioxide plus oxygen yields sulfur trioxide, and thanks for watching.